Hello lovelies, welcome back. This is our last installment of our sweater videos and I just wanna go over really quickly uh, picking up stitches along your neckline. Uh, I have, as you see, a circular neckline and like just a plain crew neck. Uh, if yours is a V-neck, then you will have picked up your neck stitches along with the ribbing for your button bands or along with the stitches for your button bands. So what I do again to pick up stitches is I insert my needle and so this is the knitted edge along the side of my button band and you can see I've got one, two, three, four places to stick in my needle and I'm going to stick them in and I'm going to pull up a stitch in each one of those four spots. So that's what my edge looks like uh, because I slip the first stitch of each row when I am knitting flat, which is what I did when I was doing my button band. So how I pick up stitches, everybody's got their own way. There's not really a wrong way. There's only a right way for you. So I like to just stick the needle in, grab the yarn and go for it. If it's easier for you, you can always use your, the other end of your circular needle or a second needle to find your stitch, the stitch that you're gonna pick up insert your needle and then just go ahead and knit into it like normal okay so along here so we've got um rows of v's and actually yeah so we've got rows of v's which are our knit stitches here so when you're knitting along a flat edge like this or when you're picking up along a flat edge like this the rule of thumb is to pick up three out of every four opportunities. So this is V number one. So this is opportunity one. And then the V next to it, this is opportunity number two. And then the next V, there's the next V is opportunity number three. Having a bright light and some tea, or if you prefer an adult beverage, can really help make this process more enjoyable. Uh, one, two, three, okay. And then we've got a skip. So we're gonna, so this is a V, this is a V. So this is opportunity four, we're gonna skip this one. And then we're gonna go into the next one and this becomes number one again. Okay, one. And don't worry, if you mess up, the nice thing is that you can pull your needle out and redo it. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Because it's just knitting. It's not brain surgery. It's okay. Um, I've been known to pull out neck bands three and four times until I get it right. And you say, Melissa, why are you showing us how to do this if you're always screwing your up? I said, well, somebody's got to show you. So why it might as well be me. So and it's okay. You know, everybody kind of um, is particular in their own way about how they like things to look. Um, so then this gappy part, so this is where it starts to curve. So some people like to pick up in the gap and pick the next. I don't necessarily like to pick up in the gap. Uh, that is up to you and how you want yours to look. You can pick up in the gap, see how it looks, and then take it out if you want. I've done that before. Um, I'm not crazy about picking up in the gap. I usually like to pick up next to the gap. Uh, and then the ribbing for your neck sort of cinches that shut. So because it's at a diagonal, so I've got like this diagonal edge, so I'm just gonna pick up every opportunity because the stitches are sort of farther apart. Yeah, I guess that's here. So we'll pick up here. No, I don't like that. We'll pick up here. See, and so you can kinda, you can edit and make it how you want it the beauty of making your own sweater because then it's always how you want it and then if you decide you don't like how it looks later guess what you can rip it out <laughs> do it again um, and yes you do want both edges at the front to have kind of the same number of stitches I suppose um, if you're off by one I can't see that it makes a huge difference so we're gonna go up here to where our raglan line is. So, and I've got, and see how this is a little loose down here? I'm not in love with that, but I think um, 
when I'm done and I'm doing finishing work, if I pull this up, I can probably tack that down or do something to it so it looks a little neater. Look, I just pulled on it. It looks a lot neater. Okay, so we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. I have 24 stitches from the edge of the button band to the beginning of the shoulder. So ideally then on this side, you also would want 24 stitches. So then we would do the shoulder, which again are stitches that go straight across. And then the back also are stitches that go straight across. So when we know what to do with stitches that go straight across, we're gonna do one, two, three, skip. So, and that's what we're gonna do here. One, two, three, skip. So we're gonna find our first V. Um, I suppose we should go into this raglan because technically that is the first one. Okay, one, and here's two. So if you go into every stitch, then your collar is gonna flange out and look kind of weird. Three, and then we're gonna, so that was one V, this is skip one, and then we go in here, one. Whoops, yarn got split one. And this is two. Okay, so then on my shoulder, so if this was three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So you can put a stitch marker here so you can know, um, let's do that. Let's put a stitch marker here. That's five from the end, okay. Handy dandy stitch markers. I love these clipping ones because they're so uh, useful. One, two, three, four. So we know, so these are the shoulders for the one front panel. And then this is, these five stitches are the shoulder. I guess we could go to this raglan stitch included in here. So we've got six stitches on our shoulder here. We put in a thing and now you can pick up stitches across the back, right? So there we have it, one, two, three, and then we were gonna do a skip and we're going to do, where's the R? One, and two, and, and you get sort of in a rhythm, and then we're going to skip one, and then go into the next V, and if it's hard to see, see the ones that are upside down Vs? Upside down Vs? That's not what you want. You want this V that sort of likes to spread itself apart. That's your stitch that we're looking for. Uh, one, and so I've got one, two, three. Here's my gap, and then one, and we'll go two, and three. And skip one, and go one. And we'll just do this all the way around. Okay, and then when you're done, uh, you can knit out your neckband. Uh, so if you decide to do ribbing, there's different finishes you could do. You could do an I cord, an applied I cord, which is different from this. I'm gonna do ribbing to match the rest of my sweater. But um, so if you are doing ribbing, you might wanna think about how many stitches you are actually picking up and you'll count them when you're done. Um, I am going to do a one, one rib and ideally I would like to have an odd number of stitches so I can begin and end with a knit because, um, I think it'll look really tidy. So, cause if you do an even number, then you're going to begin with a knit and end with a purl. Uh, if you are doing two, two ribbing, then you want to do a number that is divisible by two, but not necessarily divisible by four. Um, so like you could have six stitches, you could have 38 stitches. You see where I'm going with this? So that way you would begin and end with two knits if you if that's what you want to do. So, and that's just picking up stitches around a weird curvy edge. I mean, mainly you just kind of wing it and go for it, which is sort of fun. Uh, and then of course, you know, it's just knitting. It's not permanent. It's not for life. 
well, knitting is for life, let's be honest. Knitting is everything. But what I mean to say is don't stress yourself out if it's not perfect the very first time. As I said, I too have had to rip out a couple necklines because I didn't like how they were at first. Um, so don't put too much pressure on yourself. Have a good time. Grab yourself a cup of tea. Um, settle in and everything will just turn out beautifully. And then when you're done with your neck, you'll wash and block your sweater and then uh, sew in ends and you can wear it and everyone can tell you how beautiful it is. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, uh, you can comment in the comments below, subscribe and happy stitching.